What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Battlefield 2021. We'll have a bit of Battlefield 5 gameplay in the background. For some reason, when I transferred this from my uh, PS4 hard drive to my extended hard drive, my settings got reset. And I'm used to shooting with R1 and L1 here on the PS4 and I was having to shoot with R2 and L2. I didn't go in and kind of change everything up during the gameplay. So uh, it took me a minute to get back in the groove of playing Battlefield 5. I have not played BF5 in about eight months. And that's for the reasons of my own. I just did not really enjoy the game. And of course, we all know the game did not sell as well as EA and DICE would have hoped. And hopefully in 2021, we're going to get a better Battlefield experience. Before I get into kind of the details and what I would like to see with a new Battlefield game, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now I started playing Battlefield, if you've been around the channel for a long time, uh, back when Battlefield 1942 was released, which was in 2002. And of course I started playing Call of Duty when COD 2 was, uh, came out around 2005. So I've always been a long time fan of Battlefield and Call of Duty. I've played all those titles since then, since I started playing them. I've played everyone since. And when it comes to Battlefield... It's kind of been a disappointing last couple of years. People think that Hardline, BF1, BF5 were not the best titles, and I will agree. Uh, in my opinion, the best time to be a Battlefield fan was Bad Company 2 and, and Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Those are probably the, my favorite overall, and I know everybody has going to have their own personal opinion. There was there was a few games that came out on PC. Uh, there was Battlefield games back in the day that were only on PC that I really enjoyed. But... When I started playing uh, Bad Company, the original Bad Company game on console, I kind of started playing pretty much everything on console at that point. And I really enjoyed Bad Company 2, uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. And then we got into that hard line, Battlefield 1, uh, Battlefield 5. And they just, like I said, weren't my thing. And I think the community as a whole pretty much agrees that those games were not as good as the, the past titles. And of course, it did show in sales. They all sh sold a lot less uh, sale-wise than some of the other games. Uh, in the past. And of course, EA has changed over the last couple of years. Now, Battlefield is not a game like Call of Duty that comes out year after year. It's usually two to three years before a new title comes out. So they really, in my opinion, have to make a really good game to keep the player base playing for that amount of time before the next game is released. And like I said, EA and DICE has changed over the last couple of years. Since kind of the downfall of Battlefield 5, since it was not as popular as EA was hoping, there's been a lot of changes. There's been people that were at DICE for 10 plus years that have been, you know, that have left, that have been fired, whatever the case may be. And hopefully EA has hired some good people in, in there uh, at DICE to make a better Battlefield experience. Now, personally for me, a modern style game like Battlefield 3 or 4 is what I'm really looking for. Personally, I would really like to see Bad Company 3, but DICE has pretty much shot that idea down. I uh, pretty much said no to that several times, so I'm not sure if we'll ever see another Bad Company game. But if we're not going to get another Bad Company game, something like a modern game like Battlefield 3 or 4 would be really, really good. I think uh, you could pretty much take the idea from Battlefield 3 or 4, uh, you know, put the newer style weapons in it, you know, put some different weapons in it. Uh, kind of go with the same concept, update those graphics, and I think you would have a hit. I think a lot of people would get back into playing Battlefield. Because the last several titles have kind of hurt the community, in my opinion. There was a lot of Battlefield fans that pretty much left BF5 and went to playing Modern Warfare when it was released. And honestly, this is the first time you're seeing this video that I had played Battlefield 5 in about eight months. So it's not a game that I really just enjoyed playing. Usually what happens when a Battlefield and Call of Duty are out, I just swap back and forth all, you know, from time to time, play one for, you know, a week or so, play the other one for a week or so, or just kind of swap back from day to day playing them. And I play them, you know, Call of Duty through the whole year, and then I played the Battlefield game, you know, through its whole two-year cycle. So it's kind of a disappointment, uh, I think, for the community as a whole that Battlefield Five was not that great. Now, there's still people that play, don't get me wrong. You can still find lobbies and that kind of thing. But there was a lot of players that went to play Modern Warfare. I think a lot of people wanted to have that modern experience. And I agree. I'm not a massive fan of the whole World War II theme. That's probably just me because I've played games for a long time. I mean, like I said, I started playing 1942 in 2002 when it was released. And a lot of games at the time, even single player like Medal of Honor and things, were all that World War II era, that, that World War II style. So Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 were just not really that interesting to me because I'd played so many of those titles in the past. But I think, like I said, if EA and DICE can really do something uh, modern with a, a new Battlefield title in 2021, we'll have something really good on our hands. 
Of course, we do know, like I said, EA has announced there will be a game in 2021, the holiday season. So anytime from like September to December, that will be coming out this year. And I'm just hoping uh, really for the community and just really for the, the health of the Battlefield game in general, that it's something that people want to play. Because I have a bad feeling if it's another bust year and, you know, you've got to wait two more years for another Battlefield game, that the Battlefield community is really going to just kind of slack off. And I've talked about this in even Call of Duty videos I've made where uh, Activision keeps messing up things with Call of Duty. EA still messes up things with, uh, you know, Battlefield games. It's not just DICE's fault that things go wrong with Battlefield. you got to look at EA as well, wanting things done their way, wanting things pushed out quicker maybe than DICE wants to do it. I still think if DICE would have had more time to make Battlefield Five, it would probably have been a better game. Personally, that's just my opinion. But overall, I'm hoping something, you know, comes comes out uh, of the last couple of years. I hope EA and, and DICE have learned what the community wants. And I really hope that Battlefield 2021 is a really good game. Because I hate to see, you know, it kind of just not really dying off, but not being what it used to be. And I, like I said well, just a few seconds ago, there's going to be another company eventually that's going to make a great shooter. So to me, Call of Duty and Battlefield have still got to stay kind of uh, relevant so they're gonna have to change up things and make really good games themselves or somebody else will come in and kind of take over as the best first person shooter out there uh like i said guys i'm hoping for a great game we'll kind of have to wait and see of course we'll get some more info some more leaks i'm sure in the upcoming months get around spring summertime there'll be a lot of info coming out about battlefield 6. i'm just wanting a really good game i'm also kind of curious what they're going to do uh, with you know what platforms they're going to put this on. There was a rumor at one point that this year's Battlefield was going to be on next-gen only. And, of course, you can see the gameplay in the background. Battlefield Five, even on my day one OG PS4, still looks really good. But I do feel that uh, next-gen only probably would be a good way to go because it's if they're going to update the graphics, make it kind of that P, uh, PC feel on, on console, I don't really know if old gen will be able to support it. Hopefully by the end of the year, we all can find our PS5s or Xboxes, whatever you're looking for. I still have had zero luck trying to get a PS5 so far. But hopefully by that point, everybody will have the consoles they want if they do want one. I'm not sure if it will be really good for Battlefield or not, uh, considering you know a lot of people may not want a new gen console yet. But that may be the thing that kind of takes people into the direction of buying new gen if Battlefield is a really cool game, a really good game. And it is on a new gen console. The other thing that I'm really excited about is to see how EA does, you know, kind of their roadmaps. Most companies now are getting into free DLC. Of course, Battlefield 5 had free, uh, free DLC. That was one of the best things about it. And I think that direction is going to be what Battlefield needs to do going forward. So hopefully EA has learned that as well, kind of from the past couple of years. Even though Battlefield 5 was not a big success, the free DLC was a really good idea. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And like I said, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.